Hello people of the internet, King Triforce is here with the unboxing video of the 1144 scale Epion Gundam from Gundam Wing. Play comes with the wings, the legs, there's a little like type of like gears things, I'm not sure exactly what, because there's his face attached right onto it, his side skirts, and the very front piece of his armor, which would be this. A two point. And it looks like that's back, his V fin, his shield. His main body. Too bad it didn't come in two parts, but it only has one section here. There's the upper and lower half. And his arms, his shoulder armor, and his feet. Next we have the B1 plate. Start off with his beam saber. And we go to his back skirts, his head, his joint, with a there's his beam saber and it's uh, standby mode so it's not on. These will attach to his back to hold his wings. And there's his legs, armor, the top ones. Too bad they're not white like they're actually showing there, but what you expect. Two colors. That's all we get in this kit. And B2, we got his heat rods. All the jointed parts and the little fins for the bottom of his legs, the claws for his wrists, which should be like gold or yellow, but of course not. The main part over his backpack, the front part, which would be this. And here we go to polycap. And the extra piece in this kit, which you wouldn't get in the normal version, because you pay eight, 80,000 yen, not 80,000, 80 yen, to get this. A little figure of Zex Marquis, aka Miliardo Peacecraft. I probably actually would have gone for the normal version of this kit, but they didn't have enough stock, they had this one stock, and I don't mind little figures. As for well, before I get to the instructions, here's the sticker sheet. And the first instructions apply to this guy, again. It's this coloring guy. The only thing is, I don't think they gave him the right hair color. Just look at that. And look at this. Hmm, I think this is a little too dark. His hair color is pretty light compared to what they show on this. Alright. Back to the actual instructions for the model itself. Here's the front cover of the model. And of course they don't use the actual beam saber, just the empty handle and they just put an effect on it. Here's the back showing you that it's dragon mode. Pretty nice. Let me suck her up. Show the proper color guy. Yeah, and the Ultron I reviewed is right there next to him. Because I guess he was next in the line. Ten. Yep, he is. Ultron was look, number 11, Epion is number 10. Here we got the parts again. And the construction. Start with the legs. Go to the arms. Then you got the main body. The head. The wings. The heat rod, you can join everything together, and then it shows how you actually put the thing into Dragon Ball. So, that's all for today, folks. See you around.